since the dawn of history. Yeah, we just go back to the opening. But wait. Now we have versus mode. And extra missions. I don't know if I'm actually going to do the extra missions, but we have them. I'm just curious as to what they are. New and load data. Well, new extra mission. Start a new game of extra missions. I mean, good morning. <laughs> I open 96% of them. Yeah, so just choose which JOD to play as. But what's the bottom one? Oh. Fight bosses from the original game? Are you serious? That's awesome! Unless it means... Oh no, it probably means the base game. Original event from the main game. I don't know. The survival, and then JOD version 2 is the same thing, I'm sure. There's only one thing that seems to be missing. Otherwise, we have versus mode. Now, in Zone of the Enders 1, you had the, uh, the mechs that you would expect. So we have, um, does it tell you who I am? JOT, JOT version 2, damage JOT. Oh my god, what's that? We have Vic Viper. We have Arjet, which was Ken's vehicle. We have Neftis, which was Viola's. And we have Anubis. You just start the game with Anubis. Now, you could unlock other mechs, but it's not lame, like in Zone of the Enders 1, where you could unlock, like, a raptor with one arm. It's like, thanks. No, the three things you can unlock are insane, actually. You could unlock, um, where is it? Where is it? There's a certain thing you can, it tells you can unlock. Okay, you can unlock Inhurt, which is one of these two, probably this one. Inhurt is the weapon that Lloyd used. He was the boss fight where he blacks out the screen. That was a cool mech to use. This is, surprise, surprise, naked Jehote. And the final thing you can unlock, which might actually be something of a bit of a surprise, it's Alman Anubis, like final boss fight Anubis. Now those are unlocks worth unlocking. But of course I'm not going to play versus mode right now, but it is cool to see how much more of a, of a range you have of characters to play as. You know, I do want to try one thing. Extra missions, like you'd expect. New extra missions. Extra mission. Let's go to... Alright, so I'm going to go to Jehudi. I'm going to go to boss battle. And I am going to fight... Vic Viper. Get a load of this. Let's see if it works. Mission start. Uh-huh. Mission pause. Up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right, L1, R1. Ooh, now what's that sound? What is that sound? What on earth? Hello? Zoradius, baby! This is from Planet Zoradius. I can't find the particular point, but from all indications, it seems not too far away. Let's go! Version 1985, man! So stupid. So good. Oh, wow! Instruction, select button. Oh my god. Triangle power up, circle ripple laser, square shot laser, X missile. And then, just like regular Gradius, when you get power-ups, press triangle when you want to activate the power-up. Oh, man. So cool. Let's go. Ah. Oh. oh, my God. And that's the speed-up power-up. There we go, kill all enemies in a row to get a, uh, a power-up. This is the beginning of the game, so they're feeding it to me. I'll go for Ripple, I think. Now nah, let's laser it. Oh, no way! Are you serious right now? And 
And now I gotta wait all over again from the beginning to get uh, the red power-up. The blue capsule, if you saw in the instructions, kills all enemies on screen. Oh, now it's power-up city. Alright. Missile. Ripple. Ah, crap. I'll take an option, actually. Come on, one more for Ripple. Yo, is this awesome or what? Oh, what? Is this the coolest yet? Come on, be honest. I really can't take many hits, though. Like, kind of... Oh, that, that was a lie. How, what do you want me to do about that? For real? That's cheating. Ripple. There's my ripple. How's that? Yo, this is too cool. I mean, I'm about to die, but... It's Gradius, baby. Speed up. Speed up. Come on, let me have more power-ups. Oh, I died. Damn. I want to see if I could get to at least the end of the first stage. That'd be rad. Give you a high score and everything. That's freaking great. I will try this one last time to see if I can. Let's get what power-ups I can, right? Got the missile. Get what I can when I can. Again, get what we can. Laser. Good. Good. Oh, blue capsule, please. Good. There. Ripple. Option. This is going pretty well, actually. You know, Ripple's not bad, gotta say. There we go, clear the screen. Let's see if I can get another option. How do I even clear this stuff? These bombs are ridiculous. But wait. Actually, what if I... Oh, shield, that's what that is. Maybe that's how I clear those mines. Guess I wouldn't have thought of that otherwise. Alright, shield is nice. I'll take it. Clearing out what we can. Jeez. Gotta have that shield. I guess I could always go for another shield. I lost my shield now. I was just hope none of those mines come up, I suppose. Yeah, this is freaking rad, though. Gotta say. Come on, give me that shield. I want another shield, please. Good. Good. Two more boxes, please. I'll take them. I apparently can't get another option. Too bad. Oh my god, this is classic Gradius. Ring shooting Moai heads. 
like, yo, this game's too much. This game's great. There's my shield. Oh my god, we're really going full Konami right now. And now I have every weapon I could hope for. I'm actually holding the controller weird now. My pointer finger is on square, middle finger is on uh, X, and ring finger is on triangle. Beating Moai heads, I'll take it. Two options, shield, all sorts of crazy weapons, I'll take it, man. Are we at a boss now? Okay. Do not blow up on me, thank you. I'm digging the music. Also, I've never gotten this far before. I think I only really tried the game once or twice on the PS2, and this is obviously my first time trying it on the PS3. So I was never able to attain this level of greatness! Oh, did I pass? No, I did not. How many of these things are going to blow up? They're dangerous. At least they're stupid and I have lots of weapons. But you better have your power-ups, damn. Oh. oh I lost my speed-up chance, huh? Oh, this is the boss. I don't know what I'm supposed to be shooting at. Yeah, this thing is serious. Whoa! Thank you, options. What can I say? Come on, man. It's all about these ripples. I don't even know how much my other attacks are even hitting it. Like, I'm doing something, I'm sure, but... I gotta aim right in front of the most dangerous part. I mean, surprise, surprise, it's a freaking arcade game. But... Oh, I took something out. The main cannon? I might have actually taken out the main cannon. I blew something else up. Come on. Did I do it? Yeah! I'm gonna keep firing because I'm not sure if I'm totally done. No, I did it! I've never done it before. Yo, mission cleared! I did it! Stage one, that better be the only stage. Yeah, Retro Runner! Not worthy of first place, but I'll take it. New save data for EX files, why not? I'm not sure if beating all the X-Files does anything for you, other than just cool points. But still, that's awesome. Did it. The oh. Wins. <laughs> really? And that's Leo with, um, Selvis from the first game. That's pretty amusing. Vic Viper wins. And there you go. Did it. Well, that's freaking cool. So... You've seen the characters versus mode has to offer, and I've talked about the ones I haven't yet unlocked. You saw what the extra missions had to offer, as well as that secret extra mission. So I gotta say, this is just fantastic. This was a great experience. The HD collection is a masterful remastering of an already wonderful game. Well, we've done it. 
We've beaten Zone of the Enders, the second runner. And this game is so good. I have fond memories of the original Zone of the Enders, and when I first saw it, it blew me away, but Zone of the Enders 2 really does take that idea and greatly expand on it. You actually conclude the story, for one thing. You finish Ada's mission without her having to actually complete it herself, which is pretty nice. You beat Noman, you see Leo again, and everyone's happy. We actually have a straight-up happy ending, which is pretty great. And there are so many things going on with this game that make it high-speed robot action. I mean, you have way more robots on screen at the time, so it's more of a frenetic pace, but that freaking zero shift... I mean, I, I really don't know what to tell you when you're watching the Let's Play for, like, how to follow the action. It's really difficult. When I was first playing the game, I found it disorienting when I was the one in control. So I'm sorry if those last couple of levels were really weird to see, because I'm just beaming everywhere, but... When you finally get a hang of it, it is so satisfying. And like I had mentioned earlier, I really love the creativity with which the game handles its boss fights, especially in Heart when you fight him in the dark. Normally, that's just an annoying thing to do. Now you can't see. But they made it so cool with Ada telling you when attacks were coming and how you can handle them without it seeming too much like guesswork. That was fantastic. So you're just blocking stuff in the dark until you finally get a chance to hit the opponent a couple times. That was greatly satisfying. And then there are the fights with Anubis, where you're both zero-shifting around, and it felt like a freaking anime scene. Amazing. And, of course, I also really love the gigantic battle with a million robots. I mean, I'm not going to get an S rank on that anytime soon, but it was super fun to do. And when you're fighting the, uh, the five-ship fleet, like the big battle cruisers in the air, that's some of the coolest PS2 stuff I've done in a very long time. Now on the PS3, of course, but... Man, that was spectacular when I first saw it, and it still feels great even now. This is just a fun game to play. With extra unlockables, cool versus mode, you have that Gradius level, which is just ridiculous, and I love it. So you can play as the Vic Viper, which transforms. I mean, you can't play as Orbital Frame Vic Viper in that mode, but that's really, really cool that they just give you a, a different perspective on a Gradius game. This was a ton of fun. So thank you very much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this as much as I enjoyed playing it, because this was so good. And of course, special thanks goes to Tiki Sensei for choosing this game for me to play. I was very happy to get the opportunity to look at it again. And special thanks go to Dracologist for the amazing title card. So thank you all so much for watching the Zone of the Enders duology? I mean, there's more to Zone of the Enders than that, but those are the two main games. There are a couple of anime... I think there's, like, an anime series and maybe an anime movie. There are definitely two anime things. And there's actually a Game Boy Advance game as well, Fist of Mars. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll look into those someday. Kind of like how Galarian's has two games, but there's also a Galarian's movie. And it's like, oh yeah, that exists. So, who knows? So, thank you all once again, and until next time, everyone.